Hey guys, we are out in Dixie Springs to check out this beautiful garage with a house attached to it. This property features a two plus RV plus one. What a garage combination that is. That's awesome. Let's head inside and see what this property has to offer. Besides this awesome garage, it's a nice front entry, nice looking modern door, as we enter this property it opens up to a living room, staircase that takes us upstairs and an office so this area could be used as office it's nice and open and also right off the front entry to your right is a suite that has an ensuite bathroom lots of modern touches and finishes <clears throat> it looks like um, is oak wood for all the vanities, concrete flooring, nice stone for uh, the countertops. Looks like some form of a man-made stone. And the shower is fully tiled and enclosed in this glass enclosure. Looks really nice. Concrete flooring, I have to say, looks much nicer in person than it did in the photos. And as we go down this hallway, leads us into the living room. The living room has some touches of stone. Continuing the theme with the nice oak for the cabinets in the kitchen island. Beautiful center island, stainless steel appliances, large farmhouse sink. These cabinets actually look really nice in person as well. Induction top. It looks like all the appliances are Frigidaire. Let's check out the size of this pantry. The pantry is all right in size. It's not incredibly big. So you'll probably typically enter this home through this door as it leads you out into this giant garage. To the left of this door, you have a powder room. This property is a four bed, there's a five bed, four and a half baths. And this is your powder room. And right across is a laundry room. Continuing the theme with oak cabinets, nice stone uh, countertops, and more cabinets up above. Let's check out this garage. I think this is the nicest feature of this property. Look how huge this is. This is a two car bay, RV garage. That is actually also extra deep. It goes all the way back. There is a giant ceiling fan here. That's a really cool touch. I have never seen a ceiling fan this size inside of a garage. And then you have the single bay, which actually looks like more like a one and a half. Like I could probably easily park my truck here. Wow, this garage is incredible.
as we head back inside, we pass through the living room. Let's check out the rest of the first floor and then we can go outside and I'll show you uh, what this property has to offer in a backyard. So the master suite is located on the main floor. It's a beautiful fireplace, similar to the fireplace in the living room. Get some nice views of the outdoor kitchen and the pool. And there's a barn door that separates the master suite from the master bath. Double sink, separate water closet. Nice large shower <clears throat> with two shower heads. Across from the shower begins the closet. Kind of spreads across the rest of this space. Kind of an interesting layout for a closet. It's not overwhelmingly huge. And this is what the vanity in the sinks look like. Look pretty nice. Let's go check out the rest of the house. And I don't believe I showed you the fireplace in great detail. So there's a nice large fireplace in the living room that has some nice built-in shelving all around it. Large ceiling fan. head upstairs and see <clears throat> this property is upstairs. Upstairs you have uh, the gray LVP flooring. I think looks really nice. As you head up the stairs and make a left, this room does not have a door so it could be uh, like a second office of some sort or playroom. I guess you could find many purposes for this space. There's another huge room. This could be our second upstairs master suite. In fact, this suite feels just as large as the master suite downstairs. Also has a fireplace. Is a barn door that separates it from <clears throat> an on-site bath. Looks like it's a full-size bath with a huge shower. Take a look at this shower. The shower also has two shower heads and is actually larger than the shower downstairs. It only has a single sink. And take a look at the size of this closet. This is huge. It has a window, so <clears throat> it's really well lit. You get some views to the front of the property. Yeah, this space is about the same size as downstairs. And there is another bedroom. This bedroom has carpet. I think this is the only room in this house that actually has carpet. Check it out. And then right across is another bedroom with carpet in it. So there's, I lied, there's two bedrooms with carpet. Um, <clears throat> and right at the very end of this hallway, 
is another bath with a double sink, a shower, and a water closet. Let's head outside and check out the pool. Feels like the square footage in this home is really well utilized. <clears throat> Everything kind of makes sense. Um, there's plenty of space upstairs. The back patio is quite large and it looks like it was definitely designed to entertain. We have a full outdoor kitchen with a built-in Traeger. A hibachi style blue rhino cooktop. Couple of drawers and a refrigerator for some drinks. These countertops look like sealed concrete. They look really nice. And of course, right beside it is the pool. Looks like there's <clears throat> decent rear privacy as the neighboring properties behind you are actually slightly below grade. Pool could definitely use a cleaning. Looks like there's some, some debris that got blown into it. I'll just walk around to give you guys another perspective from the backyard. All the pool equipment is on that side. And the property just kind of spans out in this direction. There's plenty more room for landscaping. It looks like there was a little garden area that was put in place. And this side yard just kind of keeps going forever. And there's a side gate and I think from the side gate, you couldn't really stick a super huge trailer back here, but You'd probably easily park a boat. I'll walk around to the other side to give you a better, clear perception of space. <clears throat> there we go. Hope this helps you get a better idea about this property. Let me know if you have any questions.